Are you moving to Beaumont, Texas? In this video, we'll discuss five things you need to know before you move to Beaumont, Texas. So moving to Beaumont, Texas has a lot of opportunities, including promising jobs, interesting food selections, better than most priced homes, and a lot of friendly people to welcome you here. Not to mention the outdoor activities. Here's five things that you might wanna know. So my name is Will Johnson. I'm a local real estate agent here. If you're moving to Beaumont, Texas, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text or a DM, however you can reach me. I love hearing from you guys. All right, so let's get into the video. So number one is the cost of living in Beaumont, Texas. So what is the cost of living in Beaumont, Texas? Before you move anywhere, you should count the cost or consider the cost. If you can't afford it, it doesn't make sense to move here, right? So the cost of living in Beaumont, Texas overall is 3% lower than the national average cost of living for the whole United States. I said in my previous video, which is moving to Houston, five things you should know, which is a be up here if you wanna check that video out, but I discuss how even Houston, Texas is more affordable than most other major cities in the country. But if Houston, Texas is too expensive for you, Beaumont, Texas will be your best friend because Beaumont, Texas is a lot lower on the cost of living than most major cities and most places in the whole United States. And the good thing is Beaumont, Texas is only about an hour or hour and 15 minutes away from Houston. Not to mention Beaumont, Texas is a major uh, spot or a major hub of itself to where there's a lot of cities that surround Beaumont that are more country towns and that's why a lot of people say that Beaumont is a country town and these uh, people come to Beaumont because Beaumont has your malls, your buildings, uh, your medical centers and all the things for its surrounding area so they have a term for Beaumont which is the greater Beaumont area although it's much smaller than the greater Houston area. So another source that you can use if you want to find good places to live is this website called bestplaces.net, which is talking about the best places to live. And according to bestplaces.net, the cost of living in Beaumont, Texas, if you were making a salary of $54,500, and if you were to move to Houston, Texas, which is more affordable than most other major cities, you will have to increase your salary by $15,000. So basically you will need to make $69,500 to live in Houston, Texas, the same standard of living that you would live in Houston, you would get in Beaumont. So needless to say, Beaumont, Texas really is affordable and Beaumont, Texas really stretches the dollars. So it's about a $15,000 price difference, which is a lot when you consider a year's salary and how much money that brings in per month, which is a little more than $1,000 per month. So overall, a place like Houston, Texas is 23% more expensive than a place like Beaumont, Texas. The major factor on this is the housing. The median home cost in Houston, Texas is 70% more expensive than Beaumont, Texas. Now, 70% is a whole lot. To give you an idea of that, for about a $100,000 house in Beaumont, Texas, if you go to Houston, Texas, you'll be paying about $180,000 or $190,000 for the same house. So, needless to say, the cost of living in Beaumont is a whole lot less than Houston and you can get by on a lot less money. I remember working a job or two in Houston and I remember it was a lot of people that lived in Beaumont, Texas and they'll drive an hour to Houston, Texas to work because the cost of living was so low in Beaumont, Texas. So if you get paid that much more by working in Houston, you could save a lot of money and do a lot of things that you want by going to live in a town like Beaumont, Texas. I remember selling a house in Beaumont, Texas with one of my uh, friends. We were going to help him paint the house and before I listed the house, we were fixing it up and we would stop by McDonald's sometimes to get something to eat and I noticed that their McDouble is still about a dollar. Now this was about a year ago, but the McDouble anywhere else had moved up to almost two dollars if not two dollars, but in Beaumont, Texas, the McDonald's McDouble was still a dollar. So that just gives you an idea of the cost of living in Beaumont. Everything is less expensive in Beaumont, Texas. So if I need something and it costs a lot, a lot of times I'll search for Beaumont, Texas for this particular item so that I know that I'll get a better deal. So now I wanna talk about 
out of state, if you're coming from out of Texas and you're moving to Texas, this is what you must know about the cost of living difference. So as I said in my previous video on uh, moving to Houston, five things you should know, that Houston, Texas is one of the most affordable big cities that there are in the USA. Houston, Texas is even more affordable than other places like Dallas and like Austin. Uh, but Beaumont, Texas is more affordable than Houston, Texas. So energy costs here in Texas are less expensive because of the competitive uh, fuel sources. Also, there's no state income tax. That's the biggest one. When I lived in Mississippi, we had a state income tax and a federal income tax. Since I've moved to Texas this last 10 years, there's not been a state income tax. So you get a lot more money on your check. You don't have to pay the state and you don't have to worry about filling out for a state income tax. Okay, so the cons on the cost of living is in the Beaumont area or the whole Southeast Texas area, you might pay more on home insurance because of the weather. Sometimes it has been known to flood every three or five years when you have a significant hurricane come through. If something like that happens and it floods, the insurance companies want you to have an insurance premium onto your insurance or flood insurance so that you can ensure that they that all the damages are covered. Even car insurance, some of them, if you live in a flood zone, will want you to have uh, flood insurance on your car. So you might pay a little more on insurance. So the other thing with Texas is you're gonna pay higher property taxes because there's no state income tax. So they do charge a little more for property taxes. That's the way the county gets some of their money. But if you do the math, the pros still outweigh the cons. So that wraps things up for the cost of living in Beaumont, Texas. So number two, the climate or the weather in Beaumont. What's the weather like? You know, a lot of people move to sunny LA for the weather, but the prices are ridiculous. So a lot of those people are moving here because Beaumont, Texas has, and the whole Southeast Texas area has really good weather. It's not like LA to where you're gonna have 70 degrees year round. Uh, so it does have a summer and a winter, but for the most part, people can do outside activities all year in the Beaumont to Houston area in this whole Southeast Texas area. So the summers here in Beaumont, Texas or the whole Southeast Texas, it's about around 92 degrees in July, which is gonna be around the peak of the summertime. So it's hot, but hey, that's what air conditioner is for and that's what swimming pools are for. And that's what a lot of people do around here. You'll see a lot of yards with swimming pools in them. And once you get used to it, you know, you get to, to the point to where you can kind of enjoy it a little bit, but sometimes it is too much to where you do want to go inside and cut on the AC, especially if you're driving in traffic. But I will say if you're if you're a person who likes the cold and you love it to be cold, if you're that type of person, Beaumont is not the place for you. If you are a person who really, really loves the cold and you move to Beaumont, you might think, I'm still burning to the return. So if you think that, this is not the place for you, but most people love to come out here because most people are tired of the cold weather up north and then they move down here for that reason. So the winters are moderately mild. The winters are around about 42 degrees on average for us when it's really cold. This is around in January. So yeah, that's not that bad compared to most places. A lot of times it'll get uh, warm. You could get up to 70 degrees on some days. It just depends on if a cold front is coming through or not. You know, I like to think of it as if it's kind of warm year round, but when a cold front comes through, we get the cold weather from the north that comes through. But once that dies down, it goes back to being moderately warm. So a lot of people out here and really, really enjoy the winters because the winters are so mild. And then once the summertime comes, then, you know, people stay inside a little more because of the heat. So what about other things dealing with the climate or dealing with the weather? So Beaumont, Texas normally gets around 60 inches of rain. Just to give you a nice comparison of this, our, the national average is 38% inches of rain. So Beaumont gets more than the national average, but that's because we have what you call a hurricane season. Once the hurricane season comes, we don't have hurricanes every year, but we will have some type of a tropical storm that'll come through. 
that's developing into a hurricane. So this tropical storm will come through and it puts more rain in our area than what most people get. But it's not really just raining a whole lot here. It's just like any normal place that you go. The difference is you'll get a tropical storm here or there. And the tropical storms usually bring more water than what a normal thunderstorm will bring. That way it raises our inches of rain up. So in essence, we get more rained in other places because of the tropical storm so the people that live here are very used to the tropical storms you know it's nothing to us a lot of times we don't even leave for a hurricane unless it's like a category three or higher then you know we evacuate and of course if you want to evacuate for a tropical storm or a category one or two you should still evacuate because it's all about you and your safety but that's just what most people here do and what they're used to. So Beaumont's moderate climate makes outdoor activities very interesting year round. So there's a lot of outdoor activities that go on here because of the climate. Snowing rarely ever happens here in Beaumont, Texas. When it is snow, everybody's talking about it. You see everybody taking a picture on Facebook of their snowman. The snowman is like six inches tall and uh, everybody's excited about the snow because it only snows like around every three to five years or so. So we're not used to getting snow when we do. We really embrace it and we really enjoy it. But a lot of us don't know how to drive when it comes to uh, snow being on a road. So that's something that the people from the north probably can teach us. That wraps things up about the climate and the weather in Beaumont, Texas. So number three, jobs in Beaumont, Texas. So what are the jobs like in Beaumont, Texas? So Beaumont uh, has a lot of good job opportunities to offer also. So I'll read a section from the blog, which is reasons why people are moving to Beaumont, Texas. The link will be in the description. Beaumont has a long history of providing a range of jobs in the energy industry from professional positions to blue collar careers to support staff roles with Exxon Mobil or other refineries and chemical plants in and around the city. Energy has been big business and a major job creator in Beaumont. So the whole Southeast Texas from Beaumont to Houston and even into Louisiana and Lake Charles and other places, you know, this area is very big with the refineries, the oil and the gas industry, and it's really big with the power plants. As I said in the video on moving to Houston, is a lot of people here just work at the refineries. If you can get into the power plants and the refineries and you can get you a nice job, a lot of people make really good livings by doing that and a lot of people retire, even millionaires, by doing that. If you can uh, have a long, safe career and wear all your protective gear, it is a lot of people who get health problems from working at the power plants. These things can happen. You know, it's a lot of people that get sick from a power plant but you know what? It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. is. So, it is a good way to make a living here in the area and it depends on what you're doing. All the power plants are a little different. So, the modern petroleum industry started with the spindle dome in Beaumont, Texas. So, this is why Beaumont was built up so big as a city and why this uh, oil that they found in this dome really supported uh, the this whole Southeast Texas area, not only that, it revolutionized the US. By 1902, there was more than 500 Texas corporations doing business in Beaumont. So this was very, very big for Beaumont. So the spindle top oil field is Beaumont's claim to fame. This is what Beaumont really, really enjoys. See my so Needless to say, the oil and gas industry is really big here. That's what attracts a lot of people here. A lot of people come here, get good jobs, and can really live the American dream by working at the with the oil and gas industry. So what else does Beaumont have? Because they have so much of that going on, they also have a lot of jobs in the healthcare. There's three major hospitals, which are Krista, Southeast Texas, St. Elizabeth, Baptist Hospital of Southeast Texas, and the Medical Center of Southeast Texas, Beaumont. So Beaumont is also the home to numerous engineering and accounting jobs. Lamar University and Lamar Institute of Technology, both parts 
of the Texas State University system are major Beaumont employers. As a regional shopping hub for everything from cars, appliances, furniture, home goods, groceries, and apparel, Beaumont also offers a variety of restaurants, retail, and other customer service job opportunities. As I said, Beaumont is a central hub for the surrounding cities. Some of these cities are Port Natchez, Port Arthur, Nome, China, Texas, Lufkin, Vider. And I know I missed a lot, but these are all surrounding towns for Beaumont and they all rely on Beaumont. They come to Beaumont to get a lot of things and Beaumont has the local mall and they have all the shopping centers and all these things. So needless to say, it's gonna provide a lot of jobs by being uh, that way. Beaumont is also about a population of about 100,000, so it's not a big, big city like Houston, which the surrounding areas in the greater Houston is about around 5 million people, so you won't have that, but you'll have easy access to Houston, so it's, it's a very good selection to live. So that wraps things up for jobs in Beaumont. So this is gonna be number four, neighborhoods, housing, and school. So what are the neighborhood housing and school like here in Beaumont, Texas? So I'll be reading a section from the article, Reasons Why People Are Moving to Beaumont, which will be in the description. It says, the best places to live in Beaumont depend somewhat on personal preference. Different Beaumont neighborhoods offer different attractions. You'll find well-maintained older homes with distinctive features as well as newer construction homes with modern amenities so this is true Beaumont Texas has a lot of older homes a lot of these older homes were built in the 1920s to the mid 1900s like the 1960s and 70s these homes are still around and they are well kept and uh, these are nice homes that a lot of people uh, like to live in you know when the holiday time comes they're decorated with a lot of lights and people like to go through and see the lights and the decorations that they have done. A lot of these neighborhoods are neighborhoods like Oak Historic District and Calder Place, which Calder Place is a little more to the west. But as you go further to the west, you'll see a lot more new subdivisions built in the 2000s. So you'll see a lot more modern houses there if you prefer the modern look. And there's still some new construction here and there going on in Beaumont. The Oak Historic District and Calder Place neighborhoods are both located close to the downtown area, which people love, both old and young, that they can get down to that area. So that's why these neighborhoods are very attractive in Beaumont, Texas. You can also go to the outskirts of Beaumont, like towards the north, especially. I know there's a lot of homes that are really uh, kind of isolated, a little more in their kind of in the country if you want a piece of the country life, but you still want to stay in the city limits. So what's more neighborhood options in Beaumont? I'll read another section from the article. It says, those moving to Beaumont who prefer newer construction jobs consider neighborhoods further west. Check out Barrington Heights off of Dowling Road and West Chase Village off of Major Drive. Both were established in the 2000s with some of the new construction continuing. New residents looking for a temporary home in Beaumont while deciding which neighborhoods they prefer will find multiple large well-kept apartment complexes in West Beaumont near Major Drive. So there's a lot of apartments for if you're first moving and you don't know where you wanna live, which is what I kinda of recommend people do if you don't know if you're gonna stay there for a while. So what are the schools like in Beaumont, Texas? So the Beaumont Independent School District is the region's largest school district. This includes 14 elementary schools, six middle schools, and three high schools. One of the most interesting high schools Beaumont has to offer is Beaumont Early College High School. So Beaumont Early College High School allows students to go there while getting credits for degrees or getting trades and getting real world work experience. That way when they come out of school, they're already prepared. They already have a nice resume built. That's very nice. I wish I had that when I was in school, but of course I was in Mississippi, uh, which I know Mississippi is behind with a lot of things of that nature, but it's nice that they have something like that. So higher education opportunities are available in Beaumont at their famous Lamar 
University or Lamar Institute of Technology. So I know that a lot of people in the Houston area uh, love Lamar University and they send their children to Beaumont to go to Lamar University. And Lamar University is a very beloved university in the area. So Lamar University and Lamar Institute of Technology are both in the Texas University school system. So sports fans in the city can cheer on the Lamar Cardinals, which normally competes in the Southland Conference in more than a dozen men's and women's sports. But of course, if you want to go see some professional football, some professional basketball, or professional baseball, you can always head an hour to Houston and go see that. So that's the good thing about that. And if you live in Beaumont, you get to experience the moderate city life to where you don't have to deal with a lot of heavy traffic like you will in Houston because nobody really likes to deal with Houston traffic because Houston traffic makes me want to cry sometimes so you get to stay in a medium city with good traffic and you don't have to deal with Houston's traffic because ain't nobody got time for that so that wraps everything up for neighborhood housing and school in the Beaumont area. Okay, so number five, the one we all been waiting for, food and activities. So food and activities in Beaumont, Texas. So what is the food and activities like in Beaumont, Texas or the Southeast Texas? So I'll be referencing the blog again, reasons why people are moving to Beaumont. And I'll read a little section from it. It says, people in Southeast Texas love food. Beaumont's unique location is where the Louisiana influence of Creole and Cajun cuisine meet. Texas barbecue and Tex-Mex add a healthy splash of flavors from around the globe, thrown in courtesy of immigrants to the area over the years. In spring, restaurants across the region offer boiled crawfish specials and locals argue about who's the best. So in the Beaumont area and even in the Houston area in the Southeast Texas area and the Louisiana area is very big on crawfish. You have a crawfish season where they come out and you have people cooking crawfish everywhere. If you live here, sometimes you'll even see crawfish coming out of the ground. There's these little holes in the ground and you'll see the little uh, crawfish come out. It's like a crab. You could put a stick out if you want, and they'll grab a hold of the stick. It's kind of like Mr. Krabs. Three glasses of water. I'll even put ice in it. No, come. And you can lift them up that way. So, but these crawfish are in the ground and they live in the water. I don't know everything about them, but a certain season, they, there's a lot of them that come out and people around here love to eat the crawfish. So Beaumont residents love to support local small businesses and especially the local restaurants. So I wanted to mention a few of the local restaurants in Beaumont, Texas that you might want to check out will be Monica's in West End or Catherine and Company in historic Mildred Building are great places for lunch. Also get a great cup of coffee or sweet tea at Rio's Bakery on Calder or Dowling. So the city of Beaumont also has a lot of art exhibits and they welcome art so if you're an artist you might want to come to explore some of the museums so i'll read another section from the article it says beaumont is especially welcoming to artists and art lovers with several exhibition spaces restaurants and other businesses and it's often featuring local artists symphony of southeast texas performs classical and pop concerts at the julie rogers theater downtown Big name performers and touring shows often make stops at larger Beaumont venues such as the Ford Park, the Julie Rogers Theater, and the Jefferson Theater. I remember when the presidents were campaigning, the presidents will come to Beaumont, Texas and they would come to the Ford Arena to speak. So the Beaumont area and the Southeast Texas area, like I said in a previous section on the climate and weather. This section of the world is warm year round. So there's a lot of people who love outdoor activities come here. So I know a lot of people who love to fish in Beaumont. I personally haven't been fishing myself yet, but I plan on eventually getting there. But Beaumont has a lot of nice fishing areas. Also Port Arthur, Texas has a lot of 
good areas to fish. One of the popular fishes around here is the garfish, which the, I hear that some of those garfishes are as tall as me and I'm 6'4", but there's a lot of fishing. A lot of people love to fish in this area. Also, hunting is big in this Southeast Texas area. A lot of people love to hunt. You see a lot of people buying camping equipment to go out and hunt. Deer, deer are a big thing in the area that a lot of people like to hunt. Also, pigs are a big thing in the area. Pigs are an invasive species here. We have these big uh, pigs. They're usually black and they're very big and sometimes the population go, gets out of hand and at that point you start seeing them dead on the side of the road sometimes. At that point, usually they allow everybody to go hunt the pigs and people have fun going around hunting pigs and uh, I think with deer there's a limit to how many you can hunt if it's not on your own property but people really love the outdoor activities here in southeast Texas. So with the Nature's River providing Beaumont's eastern boundary, hunting and fishing are a year-round pursuit. This region is also ideal for birding which again I've never been. Yeah I will admit I really do need to get out and hunt and fish and try to take advantage of this area. I've never hunt before or I've never went fishing or anything of the kind but everybody loves to do it in this area. So that's it for the food, the culture, the hunting, and the fishing and all the activities that people love in Beaumont, Texas. I wanted to save that piece for last because that's a lot of things why people come out here and why they like this area. In conclusion, there's a lot of things to do here in the Beaumont area. This moderate size or small city is the hub for all the little surrounding areas. Living in Beaumont has its pros and it has its cons. The people here really like the city the people who don't like to live in a really big city like houston and deal with all of the traffic that comes with it also the cost of living is very very affordable here compared to most places there is we also talked about the climate and the weather it's really good for year round which makes this area very attractive for a lot of outdoor activities so a lot of people love to come here for the hunting and for the fishing. Also, the housing is very affordable. So it's a lot lower than what it is in other surrounding cities. They have higher education if you wanna to go to Lamar University, the well-known college. So that wraps everything up for living in Beaumont. Again, if you're thinking about moving here or relocating to this area, please give me a call, send me a text or a DM. I love to hear from you guys. But that wraps everything up for moving to Beaumont. See you in the next video.